All right there, people. Uh, this here is my uh, Ram Sun. Two panels, uh, 10 watts each. That's 20 watts. Got them off eBay. They're kind of small. I thought they'd be a little bit bigger. And if you look at these cells, they're like split in half in little squares. See, these these two are one. This is one. That's one, and this is one. But supposedly it's 10 watts. I'm waiting for my uh, uh, electric unit so I could test. But it is it is putting out 15.6 uh, and 15.7. This here white wire here. This was off the Harbor Freight lights. I mean, my light lasted about one hour. <laughs> and it, and it, something burned out in it, but I took the cords, attached them together, and I have this hooked up into my uh, control regulator. And on this one, I just used my outdoor cord that I had laying around. I did buy another one, so I used this old one. This way, I have enough room to mount them onto the roof. Uh, currently building a frame at a, at a, a two by fours for this little piece and uh, see what I can do with it. Now inside I have the the solar cells I've been working on and it's a bit tricky. You can see right there I got all those done. I had a pack of 72 uh, of course you get busted ones, they break very easy, very delicate. These are all my broken ones I hooked up so far. That's going to be a separate a separate little panel for that. And all these here, these are good, I got to attach them yet. These, I noticed, had fine cracks in them. So I set them aside. These I have to, I have to add to that panel there. Those are good. I'll just I'll just bring these here over here. Uh -huh. These are all good. I have to hook them up. Well, I went. I bought this solder iron. I bought this here solder iron, and uh, didn't work out too good. It's 75 watt. And down here, this is plugged in, and it is hot. There's a little trick I'm going to let you guys know about. This is just a 30 to 35 watt solder iron. Now if I can set this down. Uh, I guess point this to me. I, I can't see so hopefully you guys can see this but on this tip here on the solder iron you gotta kind of grind that down a little bit, just like that. Every time you use it, and that'll that'll get you going with this little solder iron. If you have a little one, this will work and will solder. I keep it on the floor because it's hot, and I don't want to burn nothing. Now, when I got this this kit of cells. Uh, there's a 72 kit, 72 pieces. They gave me four extra as a bonus. I don't know, in case a couple broke. But I got this silver solder with it. And this comes in handy for some reason. You just can't get these, the back parts to weld. You can't get them to stay too good. I use a little silver solder on those. But it's mainly for this. Connecting your, uh, when you're all done with your cells, you connect your, your, your system up and then you use this thick wire to hook up to the uh, uh, the little square black box that you, you plug everything into and you run your wires out of. This here is the tab and wire. I think this is 40 feet. And I got two of the thicker tab and wires. This is my other one. It, it really uh, did a lot, a lot of work using this and I still have a quite a bit left so that's good to know next when I get my next set 
I know what to do. Over here, I know it's hard to see, but I use these tacks for spacers. This one, I just stick this in here and I have everything aligned. Everything is uh, aligned and it's nice and neat. That's what I use those for. Now real quick, don't forget grind down your grind down your solder gun with the uh, here's my batteries 115 amp hours each. Uh, they're in series. Up here is my control regulator. I have the Ramson uh, the two 10 watt panels plugged into that right now. This is my 400 watt converter. Now I ordered a, a 2,500 watt from eBay, so that's going to be coming here. And I ordered another, a different controller for this because uh, I don't think it's very accurate. This one I have, so I ordered a new one. And I'm just waiting on everything to come in, but I've been going away at them cells. There, it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Can't put a lot of pressure on them when you're soldering your tab and wire. So they'll end up uh, cracking on you. And when they crack, when they do crack on you, I don't know if I have any here. Yeah. I put tape just to hold everything in place. And that, and that helps it from not spreading even further. Like this here. I want to keep that intact. And it helps it not from spreading a crack further. And, uh,. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck on your solar cells. And, and don't forget those two tips. Use the uh, tacks for spacers and uh, sand, down, sand down your tip on your, your solder gun. That's what works best. That's how you get the heat out of it. And again, I have a 30-35 watt solder gun. And I, I just sand down the end a little bit and it gives me very good welds. Thanks for watching and good luck on your uh, solar cell projects.